Grandma, yes, do you know that I'm the happiest guy on earth right now? No, why? You know, I've been preaching about one Africa, one Africa, different countries, one Africa, and seeing one Africa representing right here in Cape Coast. It's something that makes my heart rejoice. You see, I'm even wearing my t-shirt. Like Africa that. to the world. I might be taking that t-shirt for you. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, I just want to know, why the name One Africa in here? Well, <clears throat> I really can't take all the credit for One Africa. Mm. Um, when I lived in America, I used to be a clown. My name was Peanut Butter the African-American clown. And I wore a flaming red wig or green wig, long gold eyelashes, big glasses, size 18 Nike sneakers, and um, kente cloth jumpsuit. And I carried a boom box, Stevie Wonder singing happy birthday to you. Because I used to entertain children at birthday parties, but I did educational clowning. We talked about Africa, we talked about African people. And I never painted my face white because white-faced, you know, conjured up Ku Klux Klan people wearing white sheets and scaring the crap out of us. And I really wasn't trying to scare the children. And so when I came to Ghana, my king man and I came, and um, I was invited to do a party. Now, my king man, really special person, Nana Okofu, we call him the Pied Piper of the diaper set. Wow. That's because he loved children and children love him. And, you know, you'd have to see our grandchildren and our nieces and nephews, you know, when he'd walk in the room, all the children would be like, oh, like, oh, they're so happy to see Nana. I mean, he's the only man I know that would take uh, five children on his honeymoon, which is what he did. He took five of our children, our daughter, our niece, our granddaughter, our son, on our honeymoon. So I call him the Pied Piper, the diaper set. So they were having this party in Cape Coast. And you know, I got dressed and I had all these balloons and my balloons are always either red, black, and green or the favorite colors of the child who I'm going to the party for. So we get to the party, about 75 kids are there and everybody is you know, around the clown. And so we were like in a valley and these children, seeing the balloons and the party going on. And we're like, whoa, party? They ran down the hill, okay, started climbing over the wall. You know, Ghanaian people, they were like, get out, get out, you know, go, go, go. So my husband's like, no, 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 then leave them. They said, but they're not invited to the party. He said, it's okay, everybody can be here, you know. He said, we, we don't need to fight, we're one Africa, all right? So getting the children to calm down, you know, this thing was like, you can sit on the wall, but you know, you just, you have to be cool. Because we're one Africa. He said, I'm one Africa. You are one Africa. Let me hear you say that. So one the kids, Africa. Say, say one Africa. <laughs> one Africa. Say it again. One Africa. Say it again. One Africa. Well, sure enough, the children started. One, one Africa. Africa. One Af and they started rocking it. One Africa. One Africa. <laughs> so we had a real thing going there. So when the party was over, and you know, my husband kept reinforcing to them that we are one African people. I'm your brother, that's your sister. We're one Africa and we have to treat each other like that. Do you understand? The kids said that they understood. So we went home, but we live in Elmina and the party was in Cape Coast. So we go back to town a week later <clears throat> and we run into some children and they go, one Africa. So my husband left, he said, ah, all right, got that. Every child that we saw said One Africa. And the parents, you know, ask, you know, well, what is this One Africa? And the children being able to explain to the parent that I'm One Africa. You are One Africa. That's One Africa. So One Africa stuck. So to show you how it really stuck, I took a group through Cape Coast. And everywhere I go, people say, One Africa, One Africa, you know. Only one. So this lady said, why do they keep calling you One Africa? I said, because they think that's my name. She said, oh, please, like this. Like, she didn't believe that. So I said, okay, so next young man, I saw, I said, hey, brother, brah, come here, young man. 
I said, do you know me? He said, yes. I said, what's my name? He said, Mrs. One Africa. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, all my papers, my receipts, it say One Africa. When I go into the store and I say, can I get a receipt? And they say, yes, they write One Africa. So it's like, don't nobody know my name. If you came to town and said, um, I'm looking for Imacus, they wouldn't know who you were talking about. But if you said One Africa, from the airport to here, they'll find me. I've seen six, six touch houses in here. Right, right. Well, Tell us about it. I call them chalets only because, you know, knowing my people um, coming from America and other places, if I told them that, you know, want y'all to come and stay in a hut, they might not want to come. So you're kind of enticing. But the thing is that we have created a village um, because, I mean, we're coming to Africa. It doesn't mean that we are not advanced. I mean, we got beautiful high-rise buildings and all the rest of that. But when we come out of the city, we're rushing and, you know, just going like this all the time. So we created an, an environment of a traditional African village with amenities. True, we don't have hot water. We don't, we, I'm preparing you for the revolution. Are they going to have hot water in the revolution? No. At all, okay? Are they going to have TV during the revolution? No. I doubt it. Are they going to have AC? No. Are they going to have Wi-Fi? No. So, right, so I'm giving you none of that. So that you come into an environment where you can be peaceful, you can spend time getting into yourself of selves, because we don't take that time. In America, I, our idea of relaxation is coming home, putting your feet up and turning on the TV and listening to the blues. Who got murdered, who's cheating who, those kind of things. We have HD. We're right here on the Gulf of Guinea. Peaceful. We have the best food that you will eat in Ghana. I mean, our cooks are off the charts. And One Africa is a very special spiritual place. We are situated between two major edifices that held our ancestors. The Elmina Castle dungeons to the west of us, the Cape Coast Castle dungeons to the east of us, and we're right in the middle, and we're at the center of the earth. Zero degrees latitude and zero degrees longitude. What better place to be? So the other really good thing about One Africa and our, our huts or our chalets is that all of our chalets are named after ancestors. John Henry Clark, Marcus Garvey, Yaa Santua, Harriet Ross Tubman, Malik El Shabazz, Queen Mother Moore. Then we go on the other side, Isis and Osiris, Egun, Imhotep, Nzinga. So it's a special spiritual place and we honor those ancestors. So in each one of the chalets, there are, it's almost like a museum in there, pictures of the characters with information about them so that you know who you spent the night with, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's really amazing, but you know what, where we are right now, it's a museum. Yes, it and is. And also we are in one Africa. Yes. Why a museum in one Africa? Well, it just continues to tell the story of us as African people, okay. not just from America, but from the continent. It's an opportunity for us to get to know one another. Um, we have all kind of people to come here. People come from China, Japan, Germany, India, wherever. We introduce them to who we are, where we have been, and where we're going. And so, we talk about, um, we have great African thinkers, men, great African thinkers, women. We talk about traditional rulers. We talk about African people's place in the scripture, religion. We pay tribute to Tuskegee Airmen. And we have several altars around in which we pay tribute to the ancestors. And there's a lot of stuff in here that some people have never ever seen. Or they, they're like, Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Okay. Um, and I'll give you a quick example. For example, when we talk about um, being an American, I always say that I'm not an American citizen. I'm an amendment to the Constitution. 
because when the Constitution was written, it didn't include me. They amended the Constitution, number one. And if I'm really an American citizen, why is it that every 25 years, the voters' rights bill gets reviewed to determine whether or not I will continue to be able to vote? It, that's real. And a lot of people that come in here don't know that, okay? We have a beautiful picture over here that was painted by a 14-year-old, a masterpiece. An African did that. And people are like, whoa, yeah. So it's here to share. It's not about putting down what anybody believes. You can believe what you want to believe. You want to be Catholic, Baptist, Buddhist, atheist, whatever. But let us first and foremost not forget who it is that we are as African people. One Africa, all the time. And one Africa, I've been seeing the African palace, I've been seeing the red yeah. and green, and also well, the Pan-African palace. Right. Why are you representing African palace in here? Because it's one Africa? Because it's one Africa, because I'm an African. I mean, I don't want a red, white, and blue flag in here. Exactly. I don't want the flag of the Confederacy in here. You know, I want to honor us as much as I can, for as long as I can, until, as Dr. Clark said, <coughs> my clock stops ticking. Right now, my clock is moving kind of fast. You know, clock generally goes tick, tock, tick. My clock is going zip. So for as long as I have breath of life, I will continue to promote One Africa and encourage as many of our people as possible to come home to Africa. Come and see for yourself that Africa, all of Africa, is not a nightmare, but it is a dream. And I've written a book, <coughs> excuse me. In fact, I have two books. One is called Returning Home Ain't Easy, but it sure is a blessing. The other one is called Ababio, he or she who was away and has returned, which is an anthology, because we have to write our own history. If we don't write our own history, somebody else is gonna come along and write what they think we did. We're writing what we actually did. Before I let you go, um, I wanna know, do you think One Africa is gonna happen anytime soon? In terms of like, um, we, we all in Africa right now. Yes. Do you believe that One Africa is gonna happen anytime soon? I believe that we're moving, I know that we're moving in that direction. Um, you know, taking a look at what it is that we've been through over all of these years, um, more and more I see us coming together. The mere fact that so many of us are coming from the diaspora, coming home. Um, Ghana is the gateway to Africa. That doesn't mean that everybody's going to stay in Ghana. Because you can go to the Gambia, you can go to Rwanda, you can go to Kenya. Yeah. There are a lot of places. <laughs> wow. But so we're here to say that, yeah, you should come home and explore and invest in Africa. If we invest in um, Air Jordans and all the rest of that, why not invest in Africa? Wow. So I say come home and do that and be a part of the future of, of Africa. Because I still believe that Africa is the future. It and is. Um, if we come together as one, Africa will be great. Yes. That, because even now, the entire world depends on us. Of so course. How, like, so we should be dependent on, on ourselves. ourselves. But I'll tell you, like my brother said, my brother was an elder Rastaman. We called him Bongo Shorty. And Bongo Shorty always told us when you said, I believe, he said, no, belief is a doubt. I know that Africa will become one. In Swahili, we say, Pamoja Milele. I say it again. Pamoja. Pamoja. Milele. Milele. Thank you so much, Grandma. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you, what, I'll touch your hand. No, okay. Wow. Man. Boom, peace. Peace, my heart. <laughs> wow. <laughs>